the sky. It's becoming a very, very bright red, almost an orange, a red orange. And it's like I'm suspended. Here them. Pope Joy Mint and the Royal Mint. British Indian Ocean Territory, UK. It's 28.4 millimeters, 12 grams. It's proof fine silver, actually. This is not the, oh, my bad. It's not the sterling silver version. It's the proof 999 version that I have here. They have a a clay version as well. I don't have it. I just want the silver. This is the type of things I'm into these days. Cool. The case. The external case. And the beautiful, beautiful coin. I might try to get one of these boxes for this although they come in this beautiful case I don't know that's it for now cheers folks A quickie. I'm sure all of you know, collect, stack, and love Royal Mint Queen's Beasts. I have a surprise. Pop Joy Mint is releasing a second Queen's Beast collection. Right? It's a silver with a gold clad outer ring. Let's see it. So here are the Queen's Beasts and the first release, the release from the Pop Joy Mint is the Lion of England is this dude here but let's see what happens with the new version It's really cool. 
kind of different different approach two pounds from British Indian Ocean British Indian Ocean Territory 2021 it's a sterling silver 925 just started but it's very low mintage uh, it seems to be 500 per coin in the silver version here are the specs Anyway, I love it because I, I really love the Queen's Beasts. I love Bob Joy Mint. I love Westminster Mint. They do really great things. Singapore Mint in another place in the world, but they do fantastic things. And I'm gonna try to go after them. I mean, they're least, so I was in the early ones who received the invitation to buy my intention is to try to get the whole collection let's hope they have a case or something so this one is the first will they follow the, fo the same model right let's do a quick comparison in the end 